How you doing? Mr. DJ, we're assuming countdown my fantasy playlist of February 6, 1999. Date is March the 8th, 2017. I can't believe the nights have just, they just flown by. It's been 18 years since I composed this fantasy playlist. One of the many fantasy playlists I've composed. I had, uh, uh, February 6, 1999. We're up to number 28, down from number 18, a boy band. 98 degrees because of you. 98 degrees, they, they were part of the sort of bubblegum movement that came up in the late 90s. Of course, you had the bubblegum movement in all the decades. You had Paul Anka in the 50s. Uh, there was Fabian and Frankie Avalon in the late 50s. And then you had the Ohio Express, 1910 Fruit Gum Company, the Archies in the late 60s. And in the late 70s, you had Leif Garrett and Sean Cassidy, late 80s, new kids on the block. And, of course, late 90s, boy, there was a profusion of boy bands. There was the Backstreet Boys. There was NSYNC. Late 90s, Spice Girls came along. And uh, in England, in the early 2000s, they had Westlife that got really big for a while in Britain back in the 2000s, but we're in 1998, 98 degrees because of you. Unlike some of the other boy bands, instead of being put together by a producer or by a record company CEO, they formed independently in Los Angeles. Uh, pretty much all the band was from, a, from Ohio, but they were attending different universities. Uh, Nick Lachey was attending Miami University in Ohio, and there was also Justin Jeffrey, I believe I pronounced his last name correctly, studying uh, history at the University of Cincinnati, and uh, there was oh, Jeff Timmons. Got to talk about Jeff Timmons. He was probably the, the spark plug that kind of brought this band together, that started this whole thing. Jeff Timmings, he was a, he was a student at Kent State University. He studied psychology. He aspired to be a football player for the NFL. That was the plan. But one night, he sang with a group of friends at a college party. And a female, a girl in the audience, complimented Jeff Timmons. She said, you got a great voice. you got a fantastic voice. You ought to do something with it. And Jeff Timmons, the next day, sometimes ignorance is bliss, particularly the way things worked out at the end. But the next day, Jeff Timmings, he left for Los Angeles, just like that. Put the whole college career behind him. He went to Los Angeles, and this gets a little complicated, so I'm going to make it as simple as I can. Through an acquaintance, he, acquaintance, he found out about Nick Lachey. He contacted L L Nick Lachey, Nick Lachey, uh, who was uh, attending Miami University. Nick Lachey, he, he flew down to Los Angeles. Him and Jeff Timmings, they, they hit it off really well. They formed. They decided to form a boy band. Nick Lachey contacted his friend, one of his friends, Justin Jeffrey. They sang together in barber barbershop quartets. Jeff Joffrey, college student in Ohio, flew down to Los Angeles. They roped in Nick Lachey's brother. I believe his name was Dean Drew. No, it's Drew Lachey. Drew Lachey was an emergency medical technician in New York City. And there you have it. They formed a boy band. They formed 98 Degrees. And they had that sub they had that smooth soul sound. Now NSYNC had it too. Justin Timberlake had that R&B in his soul. There's no question about it. Just listen to his solo records. I mean, it's R&B. But such is the case too with 98 Degrees. They had the smooth harmony. Now here's the deal. Now this this they formed around 1995-1996, and they sang together. They refined their harmonies. They worked day jobs. They worked as landscapers, uh, security officers, and uh, takeout orders, takeout food, and uh, refining their harmonies, inspired by Jodeci and Boys to Man. If you listen to this record, you hear a lot of Boys to Man, a little bit of Jodeci in there, too. Also, Take Five. And... Uh, they did a lot of additions. They auditioned a lot in Los Angeles. They went through the mashed potato route big time. But they developed extensive, extensive connections in the music industry. Doing what has to be done to make it, basically. You sing, you refine your talent, and then you mind your P's and Q's developing connections with the people who can make things happen for you. And they signed a deal with Motown.
First single, first big single was Invisible Man. I just barely remember that one. I probably probably put that on a fancy playlist. They went to number 12. Their second album, gosh, the second album was called 98 Degrees and Rising. It was recorded. It was recorded. The album was recorded in British Columbia. And I can't speak tonight. Just bear with me. My engines are still getting warmed up. The album was recorded at British Columbia. Four times platinum. It was a huge album. About four or five hit singles. I Do Cherish You was one of them. Uh, the Hardest Thing was another single off the album. And Because of You went to number three on Billboard's Hot 100. Did not do as well in England, though. Went to number 36 in England. But it is up. Well, actually, it's dropping on my fancy playlist from 18 to 27. Probably had in the top 10 on my fancy playlist, I'm sure. 98 Degrees, some of that sweet soul harmonies. Just hearing this record, nice record. Because of You on my fancy playlist, February 6, 1999.